Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making these super fluffy Angel's Food Cake style cupcakes. We're topping them with a fresh strawberry frosting. We are making strawberry shortcake cupcakes, one of my favorites. Now you guys, this is what you need to take to your next cookout, okay? They are the bomb. And of course, it's easy. Let's go. Okay, so I have my all-purpose flour in a bowl. I'm gonna add in my baking soda, a little bit of baking powder, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt there. We're gonna whisk this around. You guys, please excuse my voice. This pollen has me sounding like, oh my gosh. I'm like, hey, I'm Beyonce. I'm Blue's mama. That's what I feel like, like straight, deep. I can't handle this. But anyway, go ahead and just whisk that around. We're done. Next, I have my butter and shortening in a bowl. I'm gonna add in my sugar. I don't know where that clip went while I was adding the butter and shortening. I lost the darn clip, but yeah, that's just butter and shortening and some sugar. Mix that up until it's like a dough, like this right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna add in our slightly beaten eggs here. Oh, my voice child. We're gonna whisk this around and get everything all creamy. Then we're gonna add in some sour cream, okay? Yes, gonna give us a good texture. Then we're gonna add in some heavy whipping cream. Yum, perfect. That looks good. Go ahead and add in a little bit of almond extract. I love this stuff. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla extract, okay? And we are done with this part. Go ahead and whisk it around. I mean, what is that? Mixing. Go ahead and mix it up. Oh girl, did you add in your shirt? Oh my gosh. All right, so now we're just gonna add our dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You really should do this a little at a time, but I'm so impatient, I just dumped it all in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so go ahead and just mix that up. Get it all combined until everything is well incorporated and the batter is fluffy. Look at that, whipped, honey, whipped. Love that batter. And then we're gonna line our cupcake pan with some little cupcake liners here. Okay, that looks good. And next, I'm gonna spray these because this angel food cake slash sponge cake type texture, whatever, it likes to stick to the um, cupcake liners. I don't like that. I like a nice, clean pill. So I go ahead and spray them. Now go ahead and add them into your cupcake liners like this. It looks good. All right, and now we're gonna bake these for a, no, 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 first we're gonna shake it around to get the batter nice and evened out, okay? Then we're gonna bake it from at 350 for about 16 to 18 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, beautiful, golden, fluffy little cupcakes, go ahead and let them sit in the pan for about five minutes and then go ahead and place them onto your cooling rack, let them cool off completely. Okay, look at this texture, you guys. Here's why I love this texture. It's spongy and soft, but it's also fluffy because I don't like sponge cake at all, but this texture right here, Oh my God, it's the bomb. Perfect for strawberry shortcake cupcakes, okay? Perfect texture ever. All right, let's make this frosting really quickly. I'm gonna add my cream cheese into a bowl. Then I'm gonna throw in some Cool Whip. I have a recipe for homemade Cool Whip. I gotta get that on the site. Oh my God, I just keep forgetting just like that pancake syrup. I keep forgetting I need me an assistant. Who's looking for a job, hon? Okay, now I added in some powdered sugar just to sweeten things up a little bit, okay? That's perfect. And next we're gonna add in a little bit of clear vanilla extract. That's optional, but you know, I like that little hint of vanilla in there, so good. Okay, this looks good, it's all creamy and fluffy, perfect. Now it's time for our fresh strawberries. These strawberries were like the sweetest strawberries I have ever had in my life, Craig, okay? They were like so, so sweet. Okay, we're gonna cut these into little itty bitty tiny pieces because I'm gonna put this in a piping bag and I don't want this to like clog up the hole in the piping bag, so make them really small. And then very, very gently fold them into your cream batter. Put it in a piping bag and then go ahead and pipe it on. Now when this um, frosting sets up, it becomes really firm like a cream cheese type frosting. So once you go ahead and pipe these onto your cupcakes, go ahead and stick them into the fridge and let them set up, all right? And once they have set up, go ahead and top them with the strawberry. I kind of like doing the whole strawberry better. It's, you know, it just looks cuter to me. Okay, let me go ahead and let mama taste this for y'all. All right, we're gonna taste it, and oh my gosh, you guys, these are addictive. You have been warned, okay? And I'm like, Monique, you didn't tell me? Cause they, yeah, yeah. But here's the inside, the bomb combination, honey, the bomb. Don't forget you can find this recipe on my blog at divascancook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.